We are vlogging queens and kings right now, aren't we, Tim? <laughs> Tim and I are off on an exciting adventure. This is something that we've been talking a little bit about. In fact, we've had a lot of support from our members and donations from this that are allowing us to do this. So I had a member become a member recently just to support us in being able to do this. And over the last, yeah, isn't that really cool? It was like, well, being a member is just a bonus, but I really wanted to help you achieve this goal. And then I had another, uh, this past week we had a donation for $300 and another donation for $200 which added up to $500 which is going to allow us to pay for what we're going to do today so yes <laughs> um, and what we're going to be able to do in the future so um, I bet you're wondering what we're doing probably the title is going to give it away <laughs> so I'm trying to build the anticipation know. here <laughs> What's the title going to be? Uh, uh, cheapest... Cheapest van conversion? Can't. Cheapest van purchase in, <laughs> on Vancouver Island. Yeah, maybe. So what we've done is we've said yes, we will go and buy a van. A really, really old Toyota Sienna van. So that's like a minivan with the sliding doors. You'll see it in a little bit. And it's got um, a lot of... It has a lot of kilometers on it. So mm -hmm. it's got about... Uh, uh, 320 divided by 85, uh, 200,000 miles on it. So mm -hmm. it has, uh, it, the best years are ahead of it, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's got a few things wrong with it. Um, there are a lot of engine lights on it and... Well, it, there's only one engine light. Well, no, I meant on the dashboard. There are lots yeah. of lights lit up <laughs> okay. on it. And it's, it's in rough shape. I mean, it's probably the most disgusting. It's dirty. It's disgusting. Yeah. It is, it is rank. Okay, it's really dirty, but we took it for a test drive and the body is in great shape and... Um, we should speak to it, that. Well, I am. Well, but <laughs> why is that important in Canada? You don't, because a lot of times there's rust on vehicles in right. Canada. Older cars in Canada tend to rust right out after a few years. Right. And also in the northeast of the United States and northwest of the United States, they probably do the same thing. They have salt in the roads, so it eats away from the metal. So the body's in great shape. It apparently needs new brakes, but the brakes seem to be good to us. M mind you, we've d we did our brakes on the car that we're in right now ourselves. The Yoda, the Yaris. So, yep. This is we're going to be calling the Sienna, Sienna the Sunrise, Sienna Sunrise, or Sienna Sunset. That's my plan. Depending on whether it lives or dies. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, okay, we better call it the Sunrise. Okay, then. I'm say Sienna Sunrise. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we know we can do the brakes on the Sienna. And other than that, it's good to go, besides a huge deep clean. Yeah. It's going to be really gross. Yeah. So we're off to go pick it up right now. Oh, this is lovely. And I've just taken the mats out, and this is what's under the mats. Can you imagine how gross this was before I took the mats out? Anyway, so it's wet down here. It's just really, really gross throughout this entire vehicle. I pulled all the mats out back here and well here we go vacuum time. time to tackle the floor mats and um, basically all I'm doing right now is just a simple light clean um, basically just getting up all the uh, the crap that's in the car you can tell they're all stained and gross and then what I'll do is later on in the week I will rent a uh, steam cleaner and just steam clean the entire carpet take all these chair out chairs out and uh, vacuums with uh, lots of soap and water and hopefully that will get it nice and clean again. So good news! 
Oh, look at the sunroof. Ooh, fancy pants. We are in our new Sierra, Sienna. That's right. Sienna sunrise. We're gonna. Go, it was almost a sunset, wasn't it? Well, it may still be a sunset. <laughs> it may still be a sunset. It's probably gonna be a sunset at some point, but Very soon, I'm sure. Tim, let's let's be positive here. But yes, we um, picked up the van and we brought it home. And as soon as we brought it home, we noticed oil on the on the on the pavement so uh, we took it to the mechanic and the mechanic said you know what everything that we said about it runs great so just run it just run it and we put some oil sealant in it the stop leak stuff <laughs> and we're just gonna run it until it doesn't run anymore just like we run all our cars <laughs> This is the story of our life. And um, yeah, so we're going to show you the car, the van, <laughs> and our plans for it. So this is our new studio on, well, we're not going to be filming in here, but <laughs> this is... <laughs> we are. Well, we are filming in here. That's true. But we're going to show you our plans for it and uh, so that we can be, we'll be able to do so much more filming all over the island like Tofino here we come are you excited Tim? I'm so excited there's so many peacocks we can't even drive and seagulls gulls <laughs> yeah the, it's the seagulls now they're obstinate seagulls. Move, guys. Okay, so we thought we'd give you a little tour of the van and what our plans are for it. So first of all, look at that fancy automatic door. Tim and I have never had a car this fancy before. <laughs> so we're gonna take out all the seats and in the... Uh, let's talk about what we're gonna do down here. Oh, what are you gonna do down there? Like, oh, Tim's been, clean the Tim's been scrubbing the... So, no, this was disgusting, but it's, it's already so disgusting. much cleaner. Yeah. So that's for step one, and then step two, you're going to... You're going to take out all the seats, and then this area here, we're going to put a... You're going to put a platform of some sort up, and then we're going to have some a foam, high-density foam, uh, full-size bed in here, or double bed. I don't... This is like a thing we're trying to figure out. Is it like American or Canadian? In Canada, we say double bed, but I think maybe in the U.S. you say full-size bed. Anyways, I think it fits a double bed in here. So we'll, we'll do that here on a platform. And then there'll be room underneath the platform. Tim's thinking of building it right now. Are you thinking of doing like something that folds up into a futon-like thing? No, or phase just, one will just be like storage. Like so flat and then storage underneath. Yeah, we'll see, we'll vlog it. Yeah, we'll be vlogging this, the conversion, but right now we're just telling you the plan. So yeah. A, a, bed high up with storage underneath first and then at the back well for stage one is going to be just putting our camping stuff in here yeah yeah <laughs> and then stage and then at the back we're going to have the kitchen at the back because then if it's raining you can cook underneath here because you've got the because it rains in bc believe it or not i know you i find that hard to believe <laughs> like it's raining right now <laughs> But it rains in the winter, so we'll be able to camp in the winter, right? We had way too many times this summer where we were camping, and it was raining, and there were like rivers in our tent. It was horrible. This is like our, the main motivation for getting this, and also so that we can go and film and stay longer. So here, what we're going to do is build a kitchen in here where we have a, a little sink and a pump, um, pump tap with water, and the sink will just be a little... Uh, stainless steel bowl and then you just throw your water out and then underneath we're going to get one of those coolers that you plug into the the electricity in the car are you going to get two amp you your two batteries yeah we'll start with yeah start with a couple of batteries and then what else will be in the kitchen oh we'll do the coleman stove and and or an induction uh burner coleman to start coleman start 
and then as we get more power we'll do an induction because it's cleaner and yeah just a little bit of storage because we almost bring nothing with us when we were camping we were very minimalist so that that'll all be back here the back way, the van. yeah okay so this is the van itself what do you want to say about the van tim <laughs> this is your domain it's 2001 right it was like 20 years old yeah with, with almost how many kilometers on it 320,000 kilometers on it. We bought it for $450. <laughs> so, and the good news is we can scrap it. Yeah, so we can sc scrap it. We figure, like, you know, if we Airbnb it here in BC, it's it can be 200, generally around $200 a night. So, you know, we feel like if we get nice. a couple of nights of camping out of it, we're ahead. So we're ha happy with it. Okay, so that's our introduction to Siena the Sunrise. We're going to be having so much fun camping in it and filming on location for you. It's just going to let us get away, especially to those places that are just a little bit further, like Tofino and Up Island, Uculet, yes, yeah, Campbell River, yeah, those places that are just a little bit further. Strathcona, yeah, Strathcona is a tricky one. So those those places that we love to go to and Banff and Jasper this summer too so we're really looking forward to it we're gonna go home look at our calendar book some dates and this just lets us get up off the ground and when it's raining will be a lot easier this summer so we're super excited let us know if you have any questions let us know what part of the journey you want us to document and for this you is just the first one I think right do we explain that like this is the first yeah so this is this is like a stop gap and then try it, like, try it can, out if see if it, it works for us three or four months then we're happy right? you, you know you're gonna be laughing this thing's gonna last probably it's gonna be like our mazda everybody will be like are you still driving that uh no we know it leaks oil so it's not gonna last that long <laughs> we'll keep our eyes open for a nice good deal on a yeah slightly newer version of the same van yeah but you know we're we're gonna be camping and we're not going to be lying in water this summer, so I'm happy. <laughs>